another one of those spur at the moment videos. Even a makeshift light for it. Um, I decided to bring you back. Another pantry meal I did. I've got some uh, fixings here. Can you guess what we're having tonight for dinner? After I uh, open up all my cans and prepare whatever else I need, I'll put you in the phone stand. And I'll continue telling you what we're having. Well, folks, did I do all that talking for nothing? While I'm searching for something I need. Oh, uh, I looked up and I thought, well, maybe it's a good thing I forgot what I was doing. I've got almost a pound. This will come out different this time, I know. Almost a pound of uh, thawed out brown meat, ground beef, that I got out of my freezer. Some chopped onion that I need to use up. Found this in the pantry, chili fixings mix. It says it's mild. It says to brown one and a half pounds of ground beef and drain the fat, but I've already got my beef in here and it's right at a pound. And I'm Heating it up now. Pouring contents of this package. Add four cups of water, which I'm going to start out with three because I'm substituting some of these, and you'll see when I put it in. One 15-ounce can of tomato sauce, one 15-ounce can of diced tomatoes, and one 15-ounce can of chili or dark kidney beans. Mix well and bring to a slow boil. And reduce the heat and cook for 12 minutes. And this one doesn't expire. I still had time on it, December 10th, 2022. And of course, you know it can go beyond that. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just, this pan's starting to heat up. Kind of softening the onion a little bit's what I'm doing. And I'll bring you back when I'm ready to put the ingredients in. So what I've done, I've got everything out and a little bit of extra chili powder if I think I might need it. And like I said, I'm just going to start out with about three cups of water. Yeah, I've got a big cup because I couldn't find my smaller one. Let me see. That's right at three cups of water because... It asks for 15 ounces of uh, diced tomatoes, and I have two 10-ounce cans, which is five more ounces. One is with, can you see what it's with? And another 10-ounce can, Let's see what it's with, which I think will add flavor to it. And I will tell you, I do wash the tops of all my cans. Omi taught me at a young age to wash the tops of my cans. So I do that. One 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And this is some sauce that's, that was actually gifted to me by a friend of Michelle's. So I'm going to put it in. All this is from my pantry. And not expired. I forget what the date on that was. But none of it's expired. That I chose to do tonight. Okay, that's for one 15 ounce can of dark kidney beans. I had the light red. That's also gifted to me. By the same friend of Michelle's. And... You'll see, I think you see now why I didn't add more water. 
I'm going to use a light red kidney bean, extra can, to make up for the ground beef. Kind of a substitute for the ground beef that I didn't have because I only put about a pound in. And then I'm going to add the seasoning. It tells you to, I believe, to bring back up to a boil. I can already tell you it smells great. My game plan tonight is to put it over hot dogs. Because I think the boys would enjoy some hot dogs, don't you? Anyway, I'll bring you back when it starts boiling. I'm going to let the chili start slow simmering, and since I need to stay with it. Yeah, I need to stay with it. Uh, I thought I'd go ahead and make this spice cake. I was going to put walnuts and raisins in it, but tonight I decided to leave it plain. I have some cream cheese icing. That's going to make it plenty good enough for a hot dog meal. And what it asked for was a cup of water. A half cup vegetable oil, but I'm using up some, a half a cup of my uh, olive oil. And three eggs, which are still from my hands. They're getting a little bit slow on laying, but they're molten. I don't know. Every They go through it two or three times a year. And right now, they're not producing a lot. And like I said, I have to still tend the chili. Did I tell you, I taste tested once, and it is great. You seen what I put in it? Better than canned chili. And there's enough for tonight and another meal, actually. Are you still there? And then I've got to mix it. Using my Tupperware mix, mixing bowl because that seems like it helps keep things from splattering. I'll bring you back after I get it mixed up. Well, I've got it mixed. I was debating on whether to go ahead and use this pan or not. It's, I think, a little larger than a 9 by 13. I don't know where I put my... Don't know where I put my pan with the lid. Unless I took it somewhere with food. I don't know. Like I said, I can... I forget everything, but it's saying to cook it for uh, 28 to 33 minutes for a glass 9 by 13. And as you can see, I hope that looked pretty. I keep wanting to add a little bit more tomato in it, but no, it tastes very good. Just as is. Needs nothing else. Did I say it needs nothing else? So what I'm going to do is put the cake in the oven and time it for 28 minutes to check because it may not take as long to cook because I think it's going to be a little bit thinner. This said to cook once it started slowly boiling 12 minutes. So I'm going to use my discretion. The pinto beans look like they're starting to hydrate back. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. 
the pinto beans and it look like they're starting to hydrate back. Don't that look, uh, don't that look good? Oh, so I'll bring you back and just tell me my battery's low. But I thought I'd bring you down and let you see Kenny's plate. Hot dog and chili. I fried it up on the stove with some mustard and onion and some Walmart seasoned fries. How does that look? And it's so easy. I always say about being a short order cook, I'll show you what I mean. Ela, step forward. How would you like your hot dogs? Ketchup. Ketchup and onion? No. Chili? No. Just ketchup? Yes. You want ketchup on it? One or two? Two. And you want some potato wedges? <laughs> I tell him be more serious. Now, so we'll have to hurry, but he wanted two hot dogs, ketchup only, and tater wedges, no ketchup, but I'm putting some on it. So now, Evan, step up. What do you want on yours? I got chumbe chili. Ooh, that sounds good. I've got um, mustard, onion. You like either one of those? Onion. Onion. And you, do you want ketchup with your... Yeah. Okay. Potato wedges. Uh, Ed is going to show you his plate. He's got the chili, hot dog, that was grilled on the stove, his tater wedges. Oh, and I forgot his ketchup. <laughs> we'll get his ketchup and he'll be set to go, won't you, Evan? Yep. And a fork. And a fork. Yeah, and and for back. me, Angie's having it with chili on the uh, tater wedges with some of this crispy jalapeno topping that I get at the Dollar Tree. Add a little more kick, a little mustard, and onion. And I've already sampled everything, so I know it's good. Boys may come back and tell you about the cake. I hope it turned out, I think. I do what, Eli? Tell me again. Who's doing what? He's doing all Y'all gonna, gonna have to tell me for the video before the, uh, are you drizzling? Well, uh, you gonna drizzle? Yeah. Okay. Are you wanting to drizzle? This is some cream cheese, Baker's Corner icing, and I put it in the microwave to make it kind perfect. of. Perfect. He said make it perfect. No, I said it's perfect. He loves oh, he says it's perfect. Anyway, it's cream cheese. They're gonna drizzle it on, then spread it, and I'm just gonna record them. Mammal? They've been in a debate who's gonna do what, when, where, how. <laughs> who can do what, who want, him, who how. Have like you not? What? Yeah. Just keep going over it. Whatever you're doing, Evan. Are you doing half of it and he's doing half? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Watch. Keep it over the cake because it's dripping, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, go toward the center. Why not just... It'll harden back up on there. I, Mama actually mm. got it too soft. All right, here. Take it. Just Get fill a little... in a little bit more. Anywhere you see an empty spot. <laughs> we can actually keep part of it for muffins. We don't need to use it all. Just stop when y'all think if there's enough. How's right, that? Let me, let me do okay. some. I wanna do some. Tell me when you just do it till you think thinks enough. Eli. Okay, rest of it's for. <laughs> okay, here you go. We see what Eli was trying to do. But there's Sorry. still enough for muffins in here. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Cause I got some cranberry orange muffins to make. Actually, that did kind of. Uh oh, that's all right. Oh no. Oh. Spaghetti. Here, let me He's gonna kind of use the back of this spoon. A... I grabbed it because he felt it. like well, it's soaking I'm into the cake. The There's a cake you actually the punch the holes in. Sponge While cake. The icing's hot. You don't have to keep going over that. Don't you mean Just the sponge down cake? Here. Eli, you want to do this? Yes. I forget what it's called. Sponge cake. Sponge cake. No, I want the sponge cake. SpongeBob cake. A <laughs> SpongeBob cake. Patrick. When y'all when y'all satisfied with it, just you can stop. Well, I know that this cake didn't turn out bad. How's that? The taste of the icing. You don't like the icing? No, it tastes good. I love cream cheese icing. 
Yeah, but really, it I looks more like cheese. string cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all done? No. You need to get some down there. Okay, that's good, Eli. You're going to mash it all in the cake. We want a little bit on top. I know what he's trying to do. Let's watch him. Watch him. He knows what he's trying to do. But anyway, I'll bring you. ruined it. He says, I ruined it. I'll bring you back when I There is a good place. How's it taste? Or have you tried? Eli says it's good. One or two thumbs up, Eli. Four. 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 <laughs> This is <laughs> Eli. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Four. Again. <laughs> anyway, what'd you say? It's good. Really is, good. is it? Is it a two star or two thumbs up? Five star. Five star, okay. I don't have five fingers, though. So. Okay, thank you, sweetie. We'll come back later. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>